everybody, it's Perez, joined by Kimbra, and there's so much that I want to ask you and talk about. And I think we should start with something light and fun, and then get into the like meteor musical stuff. Uh -huh. But uh, I'm assuming by now everybody knows who you are. But let's get to know Kimbra. <laughs> <laughs> they know you as the girl from the Gautier song mainly, and hopefully they've discovered your own music too, uh, because you have an album that's out now or coming out. It came out, came out yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> it came out within the last week or so. <laughs> yeah. um, but you're from New Zealand originally. Mm -hmm. And you made a lot of your album in Australia. That's right. And is Kimbra an, a nickname for like Kimberly? No, that's my real name. That's your yeah, real name? That's it. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. Are you, were your parents hippies or where does Just, that come from? Yeah, I don't know. I don't have a kind of great sort of story behind it, but they heard the name, I think there's an author in New Zealand called Kimbra, and they, they just heard of it and they thought, oh, you know, that's kind of different, it's something fun. Well, are you, either of your parents musical? They are a doctor and a nurse, so a little bit different, but um, they were very encouraging of music, but, um, you know, not hugely musical themselves. Was, the, was music something that you started doing at a really young age? It's just always been there, you know, people ask when I first got into it, but I can't remember a time when it wasn't a part of my life. It was just the natural way to express myself as a kid, to write songs about... So you were writing as young as a kid? And, yeah, nine or ten, I was coming up with little songs, but they were, you know, I'm sure they were <laughs> horrific. Um, yeah, you don't have any of those, love? Oh, no, you didn't keep so. them? <laughs> I mean... I I don't know, I'm flying around, but um, you don't want to hit. Now, one of the things I love about your music, which maybe for other folks might be difficult, is that you can't really... I don't know if you could put a label on it. I don't know how I would describe it to somebody. How did you even get there? Like when you're like, okay, I'm gonna be a musician, I'm gonna work on my album. Like, what was the process of like, what do I want my sound to be? Yeah, I think it's, you know, it takes time to kind of find your signature um, sound. And I think for me, it was about trying to listen to as much music as possible. And, you know, genres are different from what I did. I started off on guitar doing kind of singer songwriter stuff, but I wanted to find a way to push that boundary a little bit and um, getting into certain artists, you know, people like, I guess, Björk, Jeff Buckley, um, even Miles Davis, you know, were, were artists that taught me to think a little bit outside of the box and how could I take elements of what they did within their genre and apply it to, to, to my sound, you know? What I love is you've kind of done it your own way and on your own. The, the first time that I became aware of you was with your song Settled Down, which yeah. came out like over two years ago I know, now. You, were, you were one of the first people on that, so... And when you released that, you weren't with a label, right? You kind of were you that was that independently done? Yeah, just me and my management back in Australia. Um, you know, we're making that record since I was seventeen, and um, yeah, just working away at finding the sound that you're talking about. You know, something that felt unique. Um, and then obviously signed with Warner Brothers last year, and you know they've been helping me get the record out there now. But yeah, I'm glad we took the time to make it on our own in the early days, and yeah, just spent that time developing the music and um, finding out what I wanted to say is not <laughs> Gautier, that little song that I think nobody would have predicted would go on and do as well as it did. We didn't. We didn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny because people say, so how did it all happen? And I'm like, you know, he called me up and brought his microphone around to my bedroom and we sat in there and we recorded it, you know? It's all very kind of, had a very humble beginning. And um, I think for that reason, we both, um, yeah, just, just wouldn't have guessed that it would be sitting up there with Justin Bieber or Rihanna, you know? It just, Top three it, still it on iTunes. Yeah, it's insane. And also, not to blow smoke up your ass because you're here, but I genuinely, like 130% believe, had you not been on that song, it wouldn't have been as successful as it was. Like, you added so much to that, to that song, and it really took it to a whole other level. Like... Now, for the album when it was released in America, yeah, a couple days ago, <laughs> uh, you worked up for with some new for some new songs on some really with some really cool people like Greg Kirsten, yeah, that's right, who I think is one of the most amazing producers out there. He he's worked with everybody from Lily Allen to Kylie Minogue, yeah, yeah. Totally. and to Kimbra, <laughs> and uh, like the Shins, and I yeah, know it's, it's awesome. he's really cool. What, what 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 drew you together with him? 
I've always been a really big fan of his work. I loved um, The Bird and the Bee. They were a really mm -hmm. big influence actually on, yeah, my, my writing process. And so, um, yeah, I think, again and again. Uh, yeah, I love that song. It's great. <laughs> and um, yeah, I think, you know, um, Warner Brothers kind of suggested that he might be keen to work with me. And then it was, yeah, just kind of getting in the studio together. And we immediately wrote two songs, which are on this record, Sally, I Can See You, and another one called Posse. And it was just an instant kind of chem chemistry. We'll wrap it up with one question where we kind of began. That's mom and daddy. Mom, mom they're, they work in the medical field, yeah. right? Now you're successful. <laughs> Do they come out on the road with you? Like, what is it like now that they're in your world? It's different for them. Um, they live back in New Zealand still. So they don't. They don't come out with you ever. <laughs> they came to Australia for my tour. I just did a headline tour out there, and that was really fun to kind of have the family, you know, join you for that. Um, maybe they'll have to come out to America and see yeah. the show. Yeah, I think, yeah. Bring them out. You, know, bring, bring you, them out. Yeah. you don't want them to join you for a bit? No, I totally do. It's so busy. It doesn't get lonely I, on know, the road? It does, yeah. I think it's a nice idea. You've um, put it back in my head. I'd love to get the Or you probably, you get yeah. along well with your band. They are my, my new They like your family. Yeah, that's the great thing I think about um, touring. If you have a good team around you, is you've, you've, you've got the tour bus and you've got your own. You all share a bus? Yeah. yeah. The guys yeah. mainly in your band? Some guys, yeah. They don't fart a lot and stuff? <laughs> yeah, there's a bit of that. But um, <laughs> it's good. It's like, yeah, they're my brothers. It's very sweet. Well, you're having fun. <laughs> totally. I wish you continued success. Thank you so much for coming. Kimbra, buy her new album. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.